Hi guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Conqueror's Blade. So, you've been drawn in by the clicky bait title, but it's hopefully really, it's going to be a really cool match. It's really one of my better ones, and it doesn't happen very often for me where I actually do well. So, I really wanted to, to, to show this one because I actually managed to get it caught all on film. And yeah, it was a really, really fun one. Really surprisingly, it was actually with the Seregs. So, if you think back to the start of season two, I actually sort of really didn't talk very favorably about these guys and didn't do them a lot of favors in terms of what I said about them. And then I visited them again a couple of weeks ago. And then with the season three, some of the unit challenges required a short sword unit to be taken into battle. And I, I took these guys because they were max level and, and they weren't gonna take up any experience. And I quite enjoyed them. And I enjoyed them a bit more and I just kept playing them and playing them. And yeah, I've been really getting on with them really, really well since Season 3. So I'm really, really enjoying them as one of my top units at the moment. Just before we actually hop into the footage, I'm just going to really try and very, very quickly try and sell you something. I don't really do this very often. But um, for those of you that know, my.com have like the my.com marketplace. And they have released two new content creator packs which are available. And if you use code EVO, then... Um, in effect, I get a cut of that revenue share. So I'll put a post links to them down in the comments and the description box down below. But currently on sale, I think they've added in the Fleur de Lis unit skin, which is, which is this thing in, in the Fleur de Lis pack. Um, because it's kind of like a knight unit skin. I run it on my Rattan Rangers, a unit that we definitely need a, uh, a video touching on because these guys are seriously overpowered. Um, and they've also introduced like a battle ready pack, which is put in some, some consumables, um, some unit XP tokens, some personal histories and stuff. So I'll throw some links down to them in the comments down below. Um, absolutely no obligation at all, but any sort of support there obviously does really help the channel out. Because ideally I really want to try and get myself um, a sort of a pay as you go or pay monthly sim for my phone. So then we can start doing a bit more streaming. Because if you don't know, my streaming, because my internet's so slow, I have to stream hotspot for my phone. <laughs> but I don't have enough data to hotspot regularly. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about the solution. And then maybe we can sort of settle into a slightly more regular streaming schedule. Anyway, let's actually hop into the battle now. I've talked for more than long enough and kind of enjoy some Seregs in action. And hopefully enjoy for once in a game, Evo actually having a pretty good game. So we have loaded into the battle, we're a little bit through a siege, and frankly, it's been a pretty bad game so far. We got 60 unit kills so far. Um, we managed to catch in a little bit of some um, kills with the Kandati at the start, but other than that, you know, it's not really been going particularly well. I actually intended it for a video on the new half star uh, mercenary unit, but it went pretty badly. So then I accidentally just left the recording software running. I actually forgot, I didn't realize. And so we spawned in. A points immediately been lost. You can see I was going to go round and up, up the shorter way, but then I was kind of a bit worried with the fact that the A point had just been lost. There might be a real surge of people coming from there. I didn't want to get sort of caught out. So I went the longer way round back through the C point. So if you ever played on this map on uh, Orlenberg Siege, you'll know that generally speaking, the C point is an almost unholdable point. It almost always follows and falls very quickly following the surge from A. So I didn't really bother hanging around to defend it because I assume no one else will bother, and generally it's just not worth it. So you generally just fall straight back to the main base point. And to credit to the team, they did a, did a really awesome job of holding it for quite a long time. But I was focused on the base, and I immediately see there's something trying to get in on the base. Probably thinking similarly to me that the C point's about to immediately fold, fold, and they want to be able to get in on that base cap straight away. So as a unit of squires, I know I'm going to win. That archer does a tremendous explosive arrow, which knocks a lot of my unit down, which I was kind of annoyed about, which is why I went straight and ulted him. Um, but the Seregs are a superior unit to Squires in this sort of situation. And remember, they hit through block, so one of the main Squires' defense is the fact that they have this really good block rate. But the fact that I hit through block and I got the charge off, you know, and I won the charge, and with a little bit of allied support as well, meant we easily won that engagement. And we took one, one death. I'm then really surprised to find this unit of Kondretti, Kondadari, or whatever they're called, on this supply boat. And I do a pretty horrible example of unit management. I managed to, I was trying to push close, but I went too close. But thankfully, our friendly archers did an amazing job of killing the enemy hero, and I was really able to do it with this unit without them being able to activate their shock, um, shock attack, so that really wasn't too much of a problem for us. I managed to kill them with no losses at all. So cool, so we've got about 40 kills already. Really good start. I don't think that enemy hero is actually able to capture that supply point because they haven't captured the C point yet. I don't think that recognises on the map as a valid supply point. So that's why he was in it, but he wasn't able to actually capture it. So yeah, so a bit of a strange start. 
um, kind of a few enemies kicking around. Lucky that that friendly archer was able to kill the enemy hero because that meant those Kondretti were a lot easier to kill because they didn't have their charge and they didn't have their shock attack. So then, given that the vast bulk of the team is pushing down to sea, and I'm really expecting, I'm really surprised already sea hasn't fallen. And, you know, I'm mostly focusing around on just keeping the main base secure. Uh, you know, I don't want to go into sea, lose sea, and then the base gets instant capped. So I'm waiting around this enemy archer, and I can see he's bringing up a unit. I check the gate, he's not going to close, even though I know it's destroyed. And it's a unit of men-at-arms. Thinking, okay, well, how are we going to deal with this? I would expect to probably be able to win against men-at-arms, but I think it would be a pretty close done thing if I don't get a nice charge off. And as we saw earlier, you know, he could fire his explosive arrow and interrupt a lot of my charge. But and thankfully he makes a real big mistake. He gets too close, too cocky, and I'm able to ultimate him. I call my unit over immediately, and these guys do a fair chunk of damage against heroes. Perfect. Hero dead. It means the, the men at arms are now fair game. I slightly bump my charge and go a little bit too far to the right, but we actually kill pretty much the bulk of the unit on the right. And, you know, with the stun I'm able to provide, we really just finish off this unit super, super quickly. And that's a heroic hero unit, men at arms, and we take no losses. <laughs> and he just, you know, that's a, that's a full, you know, 25, 30 man unit, dead and eliminated, as well as a hero kill. So in that sort of situation, these Serigs are really, really rather nice. Um, and then I'm thinking, right, we'll continue to hold this gateway, quite pleased with how things are going so far, but there's more. We've got quite a bit of stuff coming up there, and now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Um, I think I even pinged the map in a minute to kind of alert people. Quite a lot of stuff coming up, and I, I'm really surprised C hasn't fallen, but there's not really anyone responding to it is my worry you know i didn't want the sea to fall and there's already six people on our base that happens far too often on this map and that's what i'm worried about so i'm not pulling back abandoning the position but i'm trying to keep myself alive because i feel like i'm one of the few people here that's going to be able to defend and we are now actively losing sea point so i'm thinking right you know where am i going to go trying to keep an eye on the i don't want to just charge into the front of two or three or four units of you know short swords contratary and, and other units because I'll get some kills, but I'll die. And I'm trying to get kills without dying. <laughs> I want to keep my Serigs alive. So I'm thinking about what to do next. And if you listen, I'm sort of looking around here thinking they might push on to the main base since we actually have now lost the sea point and the main base is now capturable. But I'm listening, actually, and you're here in a minute. If I go quiet. There we go. Hear the sword smack? That means they're charging. So, I'm immediately coming around. Our ally did an amazing job of engaging them from the front and keeping them in position. And it's just perfect. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. What a dream. And yeah, loads of kills. Just easy kills as we fly straight into the back of these guys. First hero dies pretty quickly. Second hero, both dead. All those two full stacks of Condotieri, all dead. And yeah, that went really nicely. Really big thanks to, the, to our ally there who managed to block up the front of that alleyway, which enabled us to kind of get around the back. And really, we're able to kill quite a few units now. We're up to sort of 100 unit kills or something without really taking any losses. And that's a lot in down to the charge of the Serigs, which is just so nice and just does so much damage early on. So, back to the supply point to heal up. I'm sort of thinking about where I want to go next. I'm a little bit uh, uh, treb nervous on this supply point because it can actually be hit by trebuchets. So that's why I kind of tend to look around a little bit while I'm waiting for them because I'm always on the brink of running away when I'm on that supply point. So get the unit back to full health, and I'm thinking, right, okay. Well, I'll go back and have a look at the, the Archroid, which has been, you know, proved to me quite a good source of kills so far. And looking at it, it looks like we've got a pretty good stack of people defending this sort of front gateway facing the sea point, but just not a lot at the back. But as I was checking out, I noticed we've got quite a bit of stuff on the walls. And if they get arches above us and stuff, that can be really quite a problem. So... Off we go, charging up the staircase. <laughs> Obviously, the poor hero doesn't really stand much of a chance. But we get, you know, clipped through quite a few of these little pikemen. They don't manage to get into really much of a formation. And with some friendly heroes coming up, you know, they collapse pretty quickly. But there was sort of three or four heroes on this staircase um, who the bulk of get killed. But unfortunately for them, one of them looks like he's already set his squires climbing up the staircase, up the, up the ladders, sorry. So this is just some easy kills for us, set the unit to work. And obviously we just start to cut everything down who starts to come up this staircase. And because the hero is dead, he can't do anything to control them. You know, the unit is now out of control, effectively. And it's pretty easy for us to kill them as they come up. We are taking a little chunk of damage. Because, you know, the squires are still a decent, uh, decent unit. And they do a fair chunk of damage. And we actually get into a couple of enemy heroes starting to push up. They really push this wall hard and start pushing up fresh units. So I start to pull down just a little bit. Because I was thinking about I wanted to really heal up. 
but we start getting pushed sufficiently hard that we really have no choice but to bring my unit back up and to start to engage. Um, I'm not sure if these are spear sergeants or maybe a, a spear militia, I'm not sure. So, um, or domain spearmen even. So we start to engage them, go to work. We get quite a few enemy heroes. I managed to ultimate one of these and call my guys ever soon, get enough damage on him to get him down. And then unfortunately, thankfully, with a friendly hero support, it's just enough pressure there to get the kill on him. And I really need to get to a supply, to a supply top now. But my charge is on cooldown, and it seems rude not to flatten these spear sergeants as we were passing. And it really does flatten them. Just look at this remains of this unit. Du, 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 kill, 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 kill. <laughs> and they're dead. And we just gained another 15, 20 unit kill. That charge is just awesome. We do, unfortunately, however, because the unit's pretty low health, we pick up a little bit of range damage from some enemy shooting from the gateway. A little bit of bleed damage, I suspect there were some noun cans. And yeah, we do lose a good chunk through bleed damage on the way back. So we're back down to sort of about a half stack unit now. So, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, they've earned their keep this game. So I'm thinking, well, let's keep them out. They've still got a decent charge. Get them a bit healed up and let's get back. Because we've still got four minutes left of this game. And you know, I'm really wanting to try and win. Particularly now, I feel it's like being quite a decent game for me. I'm really, really up for getting the win on this one. So we still had a fair bit of stuff out the front. So I'm thinking about looking back to this gateway. And there's some archers down there. Now, I think I was being a bit of a coward here. My reluctance to charge them was because they were quite a long way down the alleyway. These guys don't have amazing range protection. And there was a couple of heroes there. I feared if they intercepted me, you know, pushed out aggressively in front of the archers, there's a good chance they'd knock me down. And, you know, really thinking my unit would get peppered and maybe we'd kill some archers, but we'd more than likely lose the unit. And I've really been trying to adjust my playstyle from that sort of suicide playstyle of charging 30 men to get 30 kills. I'm now trying to really get into situations where I feel a kill a full unit with minimal or no losses to try and increase my survivability that little bit more. And so that's kind of trying to keep that thought going. But at the same time, you know, I'm also worried that when they're going to push down. So there comes a point when you have to engage to protect the point. And this time, they're a lot closer. So I just wait for the unit to gather up and I decided I'm going to make my move. They're close enough that I think they're a good kill here. There's a hero on his own. He does a little uh, uh, stun on me, but I managed to get him locked down, which is perfect. And the unit charges and it gets through. And yeah, they got into the archers early enough without taking too much damage. And thankfully, as with our hero, we were able to kill that short sword who didn't get iron sides on. And the archers are dead. Nice. Two minutes 40 to go. And we're still, like, we're still holding the point pretty well. So I was pretty pleased with the way things are going here. But I need to get back to the supply point to heal a bit more. Because we're really starting to uh, lost quite a bit of health there. Stacked up quite a bit of bleed damage from those archers. So get myself back to the supply point. Back to my treb watch. Keeping a bit of an eye out. Get myself a bit of health, health back myself. What's going to be next? Two minutes, ten seconds or two minutes, fifteen left to go. And I'm sort of looking around. And so I decided to push back to the main centre. I thought, you know, this is really where the enemy is probably going to be making the bulk of their push. You know, if they're going to come, they're going to end up coming now. So I'm starting to push my unit back towards the centre. And then I thought, well, let's have a quick quick check down my little my little side corridor. It's been good to, good to me so far this game. But nothing really there. So I head back towards the central point. See what's going on here. And initially it doesn't look too bad. Although the enemy's got a bit of artillery set up above the wall. But they're actually starting to build up quite a bit of pressure. This glaive hero got a little bit too far advanced and a couple of heroes managed to get stuck in on him. Unfortunately, he gets himself killed. Um, we do get hit by a bit of an artillery, but then the stuff starting to push in. And this is where I think, oh, wow, we really could end up losing here. There's quite a lot of stuff pushing through this gateway. I go, go in, basically set the unit on a charge, and then I just put them on attack. I, I'm no longer really in control of them. I'm focusing on trying to get enemy hero kills myself to deal with them. I do a terrible job of hitting this pole axe, or he does a very good job of avoiding me, but unfortunately I managed to get to him in the end. And the unit is actually still doing a pretty decent job just left to its own devices. They're racking up kills just on random units, you know, hitting everything. thing. And between us and the allies, we actually managed to overwhelm what was here. And by this point, I'm starting to feel confident. The adrenaline is really flowing. A minute left to go, and I think we're going to get the win on this. So by this point, I just get myself a little bit of heal up. I was just keeping a bit of an eye on how things were going. I felt pretty confident at this point, so I sort of just go a little bit ham here and just decided, yeah, come on, let's just go and attack everything. I thought, oh, you know, Huacha, let's go and kill that. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to, to kill everything before me by this point. So we just go to town on this hour, little Huacha. Unfortunately, don't get the kill. Don't get the artillery component. But we get, to get down, a couple of units left. I set them up a charge against that unit in the distance. Didn't know what it was. Actually, Halberd is not the greatest thing to charge, really. Between the unit and the hero, we actually ended up doing quite a chunk of damage against it, to be fair. And a few of the units still charging in. 
even with just two of them left, they actually do a fair chunk of damage as they get stuck in as the unit repositions. And we actually managed to kill the, the whole unit of halberdiers with a very weakened slack of Cerex. And then that is really the game. And what a game it was. Um, we'll see in a minute what the final stats were. But you can see by the end I was really quite pleased <laughs> and I'd really enjoyed myself. And I thought it was just a really nice game and really showed the Serex what their potential really is. So yeah, seven hero kills, 181 unit kills with that unit. Um, certainly the best game I've had with a single unit, I think, so far in the game. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. What a fantastic unit. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Um, if you did, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. We'll certainly be getting stuck into some of the new Season 3 units going forwards. Thank you for watching, guys, and I shall see you guys all on the next video.